Box trucks are all about function and efficiency. Here's why you don't typically see wind deflectors on them. Hash, 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 cost efficiency. Most box truck owners and operators are focused on cost management. Wind deflectors can be expensive to install, and the savings on fuel aren't always significant enough in the short term to justify the upfront cost. Hash, 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 weight and design. Adding a wind deflector might seem simple, but it adds weight and complexity to the truck. The added weight can affect the truck's payload capacity, which is critical for businesses that rely on these vehicles for transportation of goods. Hash, hash, hash usage and roots box trucks are often used for shorter local deliveries around the city, where high-speed aerodynamics don't have as much impact compared to long-haul trucks on highways. When you're making frequent stops within Portland, for example, the aerodynamic benefits diminish. Hash, hash, hash maintenance wind deflectors aren't maintenance-free. They can get damaged, especially when driving in urban environments where the trucks might encounter low-hanging branches or other obstacles. Constant repairs would mean more downtime for the truck, which isn't ideal for business. Hash, hash, hash design purity box trucks are designed with a focus on simplicity and durability. The straightforward design without additional extras makes them easier to produce and maintain. Hash, 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 hash. However, larger shipping companies or long-haul operators may find deflectors more beneficial and choose to invest in them. If a company calculates that the fuel savings from aerodynamic improvements will significantly impact their operations, they might consider installing wind deflectors. So, it's a mix of practicality, cost, and usage patterns that you'll rarely see wind deflectors on these workhorses of the transport world.